Hello, I'm Luke Abraham, and I'm a member of the National Centre for Atmospheric Science, based in the Department of Chemistry at the University of Cambridge. I started my career at the University of York, where I did a degree in theoretical physics. I then stayed in York to do a PhD in condensed matter physics, and I came to Cambridge to move into Earth system modelling. In 2009, I joined the National Centre for Atmospheric Science, providing development and support for the United Kingdom Chemistry and Aerosols model. UKCA is part of the Met Office Unified model and is used operationally in air quality forecasts and climate models, such as the UK Earth System model, to provide forecasts of climate change for international assessment. So what do I do? I do research and supervise PhD students. I'm involved in producing simulations for international model intercomparison projects with an interest in atmospheric chemistry, such as the simulations presented here showing ozone depletion and recovery over the coming century. I do model development, and I'm the code owner of UKCA for the Met Office, co-chairing the UKCA Code Management Group. I develop new schemes and implement bug fixes, as well as doing code reviews as part of the UM development process. I provide support for the NERC academic community in using UKCA on the UK National Supercomputers, Archer 2 and Monsoon 2. I also develop training in UKCA and have run training courses every year since 2013, primarily hosted in Cambridge. But most recently, this was done online with all course materials available on the UKCA website. For the past few years, in collaboration with the Met Office, I've been working on a virtual machine environment that allows for the running of small UM and UKCA configurations on PCs and servers. The last two sets of UKCA training materials that I developed were designed to be done on this system, and it is ideal for model development due to the high throughput available. There is a much shorter compile time when compared to using HPCs, allowing for code to be debugged, debugged much more quickly than when developing on supercomputers. This system also includes the Met Office testing framework and is able to test whether new code affects the model results and if the new code conforms to the required coding standards. This means that users who are, have developed improved UKCA functionality can become familiar with the Met Office development practices with an aim to encourage this code to be committed back to the trunk and become available for all users. The VM also includes all the software required to update the technical model description papers, which must be kept up to date with new code changes. This tool is about enabling science, whether it be via training, development, or testing of new code, and is key to the plan to make UKCA open source over the next year. The virtual machine forms the core of my plans for the fellowship. While I've implemented the VM on AWS and the Jasmine on Managed Cloud, the fellowship will cover costs allowing me to implement this system on other cloud platforms, such as Microsoft Azure or Google Cloud. This will then open up this system to others by allowing it to run on whatever cloud environment a user is most comfortable or familiar with. I will also host pre-installed images of the UKCA virtual machine on these cloud providers and provide VMs for new users to try out. This may be for working through the training materials, but could also be for developing and testing new code. Once the VM is set up, it is straightforward to use, but the steps required to install the UM and the standard tests are somewhat involved. By providing pre-made images, this greatly improves the ease of use of this system, allowing users to focus on their code rather than technical issues. Many institutions cannot use the PC or server-based implementation due to security concerns with VirtualBox. The fellowship will allow me to develop in other virtualization solutions such as VMware to improve the uptake of this system by all users of UKCA. My aim is for using the VM to become standard practice, whether you are doing testing, training, or development. With regards to training, this fellowship will allow me to use cloud compute for UKCA training courses, covering the cost of all required cloud VMs for the duration of each training event run during the fellowship. The February 2021 training was successfully held online using Zoom and Slack, with VMs hosted on the Jasmine and Managed Cloud. One big improvement I noticed from using VMs was that it was far more straightforward for the students to connect and start their work than when compared to using Archer. The feedback on this course from the participants was very positive, but they all stated that they would like to see a return to in-person teaching in the future. However, in-person teaching would then mean that additional costs, such as travel and accommodation, would now need to be met, and this could be a burden for some students. So the fellowship will allow me to cover some of these costs for attendees with limited budgets. 
So what will this fellowship provide? It will provide the opportunity for more UKCA users to make use of the virtual machine, not just for training, but for testing and development as well. It will give more users the experience of the Met Office development process, teaching good practice and improving the pull through of code from universities and other UKCA partners into the model trunk, improving the model for everyone. These changes may then be used in future operational model configurations, potentially giving these developers additional and direct impact from their changes into UM outputs. And it will provide resources for these developments and for users to attend trading courses. Additionally, it will give me the opportunity to learn from the experiences of other fellows and will allow me to pass on my experience to others. Thank you.